Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to another revisit of the um, load cells video that I did. Now let me get some of the mess out of here because I don't really need it. I've done this before I started the video, but hey, you know how life goes. So I uh, desoldered every um, I desoldered every load cell from the previous uh, HX. Uh, I think it's 711. Let me adjust the out of focus. Is it in here? No. Oh, not there. Yes. So I just found out that you can do out of focus tracking, and that works, I think. Um, because I've got a, maybe a bad feeling that this is uh, broken. So I'm going to use uh, another one that I haven't used before. And oh. stupid plastic packaging. Uh, so I will only solder the four pins. Are those? Yes, they are. Hmm. No, I'll only solder four pins. And I will just solder the wires directly onto the um, onto the board. Just insert it into my helping hand here. I did it with the headers themselves facing down. Hoping I'm able to hold and feed solder with one hand. I think I should be. So there, without burning myself of course I think I managed to do it okay the last one retouch That's cool, that's nice. That's wire out of the way. No, you're not going, you're not getting, it's not getting out of the way. So, it is now. Okay. Now, um, a viewer by the name of Gorm Drachman, I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, has linked me to um, a website where um, an issue is explained with the 50 kilogram load cells, uh, the spark fun ones, uh, in combination with the HX711. And uh, that website provided me with this schematic, and I will be using that to uh, connect the load cells up to the um, uh, HX711. I'll post the link of the, the website in the description so you can uh, visit that website yourself. The only thing, the input power plus and input power minus uh, are labeled E plus and minus on the uh, load cell uh, chip uh, instead of input power and output power are A and E. So let's um, actually get started. With, again, you know, the new focus thing that I thought was working is not working as expected. It's, um, eh. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'll label or I'll lay them out as visible on the image. Oh, and they're using a white wire instead of a green wire. But the rest is the same. Okay. So, input power plus. This is input power plus, and that goes to E plus. Only one going to E plus. 
Oh, it doesn't show. Alright. And input power minus is. There you go. Input power minus is the red wire of this one. Now I'm going to actually solder these ones um, to the chip because otherwise the connection is too unstable. So put the pin inside it. Make it touch and hold so I can grab my solder and put some more on it. Okay, cool. E minus. Come on, go in there. There you go. that okay cool mm. now this one a plus oh. Where's my sorry Searching for the end of the solder. Like that. Now the final one is the A minus. Oh, I think there's a wire in the way. It's a bit tedious, but yeah. You know, almost everything in electronics are is tedious so nothing new well, they should be connected right now all of them that's good um, while we're at it let's swap the chip connected to the Arduino like that Okay, so let's move to the computer now and test them. Alright, I moved to the computer and we are going to load a sample sketch of the HX711 uh, calibration. Let's move to another screen. There you go. And change the baud rate real quick. Where is serial? that all right so save it um, and upload it for the Arduino Nano Let's use com port 8 since that's the only one hit upload and wait for the thing to upload it's uploaded and we need to place them in a row, like that. Open your serial monitor, starting. All right, that's cool. So it has a connection and the previous video didn't have a connection. So let me put on, um, uh, some weight. 
I was thinking of taking the same weight as previous one, which was a hard drive, but I can't find it. So I'm hoping that this um, battery will fit onto all. Of, no, it won't. Let me do a search for the hard drive again. Found it. The hard drive weighs. 575, no, 557 grams. So that's good. Lay them out. So 557 is the number we need to enter. So place the hard drive on the load cells. 557. Calculated calibration value is zero. Look, if I put a thing on there. Oh, now it's not doing it. Okay. I can't even. Yeah, now, now it's doing something. I'm not sure if it's weight related. Almost looks like there's a problem with one of my uh, jumper cables. Because on the, the No, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I don't know what to do. Maybe if I probe the E plus and E minus, because I think I, I'm not sure how, but I managed to make a wrong connection or something to reconnect them come on fucking thing to reconnect them in a in the wrong way again because I am not getting any data at all from it I'm putting 70 kilograms on the things and they aren't moving, they just aren't moving. Zero. Invalid value. Zero.
No, still, still one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm. Uh, I'm not even sure if the load cells are working then, I think. There is one more thing I'm going to do. And that is I'm going to uh, make a prototyping board that allows for easy connect and disconnect of the chip and the weight cells. So it, uh, debugging uh, is going to be a little bit easier. Because I'm getting a little fed up with the, the load cell thingies. I just want them to work. And not to stay here and keep messing around until something finally works. Because I don't have time for that. You know. Ah, we was missing one pin but I think there should still be a yeah there's still a 5 volt line so I don't need the V in pin of the Arduino Soldering in like this. Okay. Sponge. Let's get soldering. Okay. Soldering, not breaking things. schematic again to verify the wiring so board PCB this is one the blue one goes to this one goes to the blue one as well and twist it and the red one of this is the output signal which goes to E Minus. That's this one. Which I hopefully can insert. Yeah, there you go. E minus. 
Now, we've got these two sorted. And the green one of this goes to the green one of this one, which is this one, twist them together. And the red one of this one is the positive output signal. And that goes to this one. Right then. Got one left. This one, the white wire. Wait, I think I can see the error I made. No, I. Um, yeah, I think I do. I think I connected this green one to that green one. So now it's... Right. Now this green one goes here and this is the input power negative which is this one That is this one. So, let's move back to the computer again. Alright, so I reset the, or I resoldered the, uh, the thing, and now I reset it the ESP, oh, the ESP. The Arduino, place the load cells, and place the load on the load cells. Seven. No. Still not a number. Still doesn't do anything. All right now it's gonna. I'll reset the Arduino and I'll place the weight on the cells. Hey, it's doing something. Five, five, seven. Oh, I removed it and it's not doing anything. What if I put pressure on it? No, it's not changing. Nope, it's not doing anything. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.